G'day guys, how are you going? Shane here. In this video, we'll learn how to do the kick turn infinity loop. Let's go. Start to warm up with your regular infinity loop and pay close attention how your body weight shifts from front to back and vice versa on each turn. Practice your pumping and focus on shifting your body weight to the back foot while you are decompressing to accelerate. Now try lifting the front wheels while you are decompressing and accelerating. The hard bit is the kick turn because you just don't want to change direction you also want to accelerate out of the turn if this is the center of mass and this is the board as you shift your body weight outside of the board it creates an imbalance and it forces you to exert force to bring back the board under your center of mass in the process of doing that you've accelerated with the kick turn, it is the same principle, except that now you're balancing both side to side and front to back. If you want to practice with a cone, shift your center of mass approximately on top of the cone. This will create an imbalance and will force the board to accelerate right under your center of mass to restore that balance. Start small first and gradually increase the angle. If you want to do a 360, maintain that perpetual imbalance.
Practicing slowly forces you to calibrate the rate of force output to the lean and turn of the whole body and board. Now the easier part, practice some front side and back side bottom turns. Now, time to link the bottom turn and the top turn. As you come out of the bottom turn, do not fully decompress the body as you won't leave some decompression for the top turn. Alright, now you're ready to perform the kick turn infinity loop. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you next time, cheers!